Hey friend, I want to answer the question, why Christians should vote? There's a scripture in Jeremiah 29, 7, work for the good of the city where I've taken you as captives and pray to the Lord for that city. And when it prospers, you will also prosper. Now it's strange to me why Christians are not active in politics or even make the effort to vote. I know one should be called to such a challenging mission, but at the same time, we have a responsibility from God to steward our culture. In recent conversations, I've heard things like, well, I don't trust the government. They're going to do whatever they want anyway, or my vote doesn't count when there's so many other people voting. Well, I understand. However, that's not what the Bible teaches. Christians should register to vote because it's exercising stewardship over the society in which they live. Voting is not merely a civic duty for believers. It's a spiritual responsibility that allows us to influence decisions that shape our communities. Through our votes, Christians can reflect values such as justice, compassion, and, and the protection of human dignity, principles deeply rooted in Scripture. The Bible encourages believers to take care of the welfare of the cities. I gave you the scripture. Participating in the electoral process is one way to actively pursue that welfare. Voting empowers Christians to be advocates for policies that align with biblical principles, ensuring that righteous leadership prevails. Now I want to give you three big reasons Christians should vote. Number one, civic responsibility and stewardship. We're called to be responsible stewards of the society we inhabit. Voting allows believers to influence decisions that impact justice, morality, and society welfare. And this fulfills the biblical mandate to seek the good of the community. Check out Jeremiah 29.7. I just read, I quoted it to you. So by casting a vote, Christians demonstrate their commitment to protecting and promoting the well-being of their neighbors and their nation. Number two, advocating for biblical values you see, voting gives Christians the opportunity to support policies that align with biblical principles, such as protecting life and caring for the marginalized and upholding justice. It allows believers to promote laws and leaders who reflect values of compassion and righteousness and truth and justice. And by participating in elections, Christians advocate for a society that reflects God's heart for justice and mercy. And thirdly, it influences future generations. You see, by voting, Christians help shape the moral and cultural landscape that will affect our kids and grandkids. Their involvement leaves a lasting legacy of faith-driven leadership and policies that honor God and benefit the common good. Voting is not for the present, it's about influencing for the future for the kingdom of God. Christians le Christian leaders have a responsibility. You see, whether you're a pastor, or a parent, or a mentor, Christian leaders are commissioned by God to protect and guide those they influence, and this includes engaging in the political process. Believers are not called to be silent and ignore the elections and stick our head in the mud. Mm -mm. Instead, we're called to be active participants in shaping a society that reflects God's values. Silence or indifference only allows injustice and ungodly leadership to prevail. So I encourage you to remember that your participation in civic life is a reflection of God's kingdom values and an opportunity to be faithful stewards of the society that God has placed us in. And the first step is to make sure you're registered to vote. Now in Texas, we must register by October 6th. However, uh, check out where you can register in other states at tpusa.com vote and live. I hope this helps you. I encourage you to influence your community. God bless.